Yo, what is going on guys and welcome to a new video and today I'm gonna be talking about tips and tricks for beginners. So uh, Whenever I started playing this game two years ago, I had no idea what I was doing I didn't know what I specifically had to target or what I had to work on the only thing that I uh, Was worrying about was my aim, but now after playing this game for two years I really know what to concentrate on and how to get you know to the point where you can consider yourself a good player. So I will give you guys those tips, but one thing I can already tell you guys right now, this will take time. So this will take not only a week, maybe longer than a month. It will take you a long time to get uh, you know, good at this game, just because this game has been out for three years and people are gonna have a head start on you. Just be aware of that, don't get discouraged and you guys will get uh, you know, as good as other people if you guys just put in time and you guys will be good. So yeah, that's uh, about it. So let's get right into the video. All right, so the first thing that I want to talk about is map knowledge. So the reason why I want to talk about map knowledge is so you guys can communicate with your team. So let's say you see an enemy player in a specific spot, you can call that out to your team. And if you don't know the name of that specific location, it will be very hard for your teammates to know what you're talking about. So here's a short example of uh, good call outs and good team play. My says. Right, one meeting. Nice. Mesa's dead, last, last one meeting. Last four last operators standing. Friendly last nice operator meeting. standing. Meaning, meaning, meaning. Jumped in, main lobby. One's dead. On main stairs, on main stairs. On He's bomb. He's fusing. He's staking, He's staking, staking. Stop, no, stop, stop, no, stop. Off it, off it. Main stairs, stairs. coming up, main stairs, coming up, main stairs, main stairs. Nice, dude. Nice job. So every single spot has a specific call out and those call outs are universal so everyone's gonna everyone has the same call out for that specific spot most of the time if you're playing in a in a team and you guys have different call outs that's also fine just be aware that other players might not know what you will be talking about then so just try to uh, adapt your call outs to you know the universal ones so you guys can actually play with like all kinds of players and they will also know what you're talking about so don't just make up any call outs be just use the ones that are actually used by professional players and all that and you guys can see those call outs in the bottom corner of your screen where the little compass is uh, above that compass there is like a little name which is usually the the call out for the room or that specific location so if you check the compass most of the time you guys will start knowing what the rooms are called and that's how you guys will learn the, all of those call outs very quickly so this will take over a month i'd say maybe around three months and you guys will pretty much know all of those call outs if you guys put in the work and the time so that is probably one of the easiest points of the game but it is also one of the most important ones so yeah that is pretty much it for map knowledge so let's get into the next point all right so the second thing that i want to talk about is aim so the reason why i find aim so important is because people usually go through that mindset especially when it comes to their aim of yo i'm gonna miss my shots i'm i'm gonna potato this guy is way better than me all those things go through your mind especially when you start playing rainbow six siege so when i started playing rainbow those exactly those things went through my head and over time i got more confident in my shot and all that and then i at the end I, like nowadays i don't even worry about my aim anymore because i'm just you know i don't think about it and w once you st uh, stop thinking about it because you're more or less decent at aiming then you can focus on more important things for example uh game sense your strategies your team play or how to ex execute a certain idea that you have in your head but uh, if you guys are uh, struggling with finding your sensitivity or your perfect sensitivity then go ahead and uh, check out my video that i posted a couple of uh, weeks ago where i talk about like, you know how to find your perfect sensitivity so i'll link that in the description below and yeah that is pretty much it for aim so let's get right into the next point 
So the next thing that I want to talk about is game sense. So what I mean by game sense is situational awareness. So what I mean by situational awareness is being able to predict uh, other players or even be unpredictable yourself, especially in clutch situations, because in clutch situations, it is very important to be very aware of the position of other players. And that's where game sound comes in play. So game sound also helps you out a lot. Uh, as in game sense because you will be able to know where to pre-fire a certain spot because you heard a player uh, in this certain spot or you guys will know when someone's rushing you and so you guys pr predict when he's about to pop up uh, you know in your screen and all that so game sense is a very important in all aspects especially if, tr if you're trying to outsmart another player that's where game sense comes in handy so Game sense come uh, over time, so your game sense can never be perfect uh, because in a 5v5 it is very hard to you know predict five players at once and it is nearly impossible to always be perfect with your game sense or being uh, perfect at predicting other players or even being unpredictable you know so just be also aware of that and that's pretty much it for a game sense so let's get right into the next point all right so the next thing that i want to talk about is team play so this is probably the most important point just because rainbow six siege is all about teamwork and uh, this works the best if you're in a five-man squad so if you're in a five-man squad you can work on strats chemistry and all that so what i mean by strats and chemistry is uh, so give every single player in your team a certain role so someone's a thermite main someone's an ash main someone's a thatcher main and all that sort of stuff because over time a thermite main is always going to know what he has to do next so let's say he has to breach this wall and this wall uh, or for example he has to get this hatch and this hatch so or the thatcher has to throw his uh, thatcher grenade in a certain spot every single time you guys play with each other so it just becomes a routine and you guys will work out what works best for your team because sometimes it is uh it is not gonna work out so you guys are gonna know all right we are better at doing this than this so let's just always do the thing that it works right so why would you change anything when it's broken you don't so that's why you work on the things that uh, you guys are good at and as you're getting better as a team you guys will get better you know in, in in your overall game sense and all of that you guys will improve as a individual player and as a team so it is a win-win situation so be sure to get a five-man squad if you guys are trying to play ranked or whatever it is because as a, in a five-man squad it just is a lot easier and it just is way more fun to play this game in a five five man squad so yeah that is pretty much it all right so the last thing that i am going to be talking about today is mentality so the thing that will make it or break it for you guys to get to that diamond level is uh, mentality so every time you go into a game and i'll just give you an example if you see a certain player in a game that you know because he is very good so if you see that player in a in the other team usually people have that mindset of oh my god this guy is on the other team we're gonna lose like there's no way we can win this game and all that and i don't want you guys to think that i want you guys to push yourself whenever you guys see a very good team or even just a player on the other team you guys have to be in that mindset of yo we can beat these guys this is a challenge let's get it like we can absolutely do this so the reason why i want you guys to do this is to get to get into that positive mindset to try to succeed you know if you're already set up for failure you're not gonna win a game it just is like that because every the competitive team or even every good ranked team um is ready to take up a challenge and if you guys are not ready to take up a challenge then 
Rainbow Six is probably not for you because Rainbow is all about trying to improve, trying to play against better players for you to get better yourself because you're not going to get better if you're always playing bad people, you know? If you always win, you're not going to get better. You also have to lose sometimes to know what you guys did wrong and how to improve. So always be aware of that. So mentality is also a very important point uh, which can make it or break it for you and your team. So it uh, can also only be one person in a five-man squad that uh, has a negative mindset and he can literally drag down the whole team. So always be sure for your whole team to stay positive and to not get into a negative mindset. Like at the end of the day, it's just a game uh, and you guys are trying to have fun. So just be aware of that, have fun and uh, just stay in a positive mindset and you guys will win games like it's nothing. So yeah, that is the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, tips and tricks video. Uh, a lot of people have been asking about this, so I was thinking about doing this for a long time, but I never really got the time to do it. But here we are, right? So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Please leave a like and subscribe. And comment down below if it uh, actually helped you guys. And if you guys did watch the whole video. Because I'm always curious about videos like these because they're usually a lot longer and they're more like f for, you know, for educational purposes, if you want to say it like that. So uh, this is literally for the people that just started off the game. So you guys have like an idea of what to concentrate on or what to like target and all that. So this is more for the people that uh, just started off playing this game. So yeah, uh, but otherwise that is pretty much it from me. Uh, so have a beautiful night, day, evening, whatever it is for you guys. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.